Hey, it's Paul from my home studio. Thought we'd try a few of these just to see how comfortable I am. I'm always comfortable talking to you. It's, as long as it's, I have to close all the windows. I know, it's weird, it's really weird. Like, I'm talking to 100,000 people, and yet, if I, 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 I have to be kind of in a space where I think it's just you and me, and that's just the way it works, because I'm weird. Okay, today's question is whether or not you can take a moving coil cartridge and change it over, a uh, moving magnet cartridge and change it over to a moving coil. And part of the reason I wanted to, uh, and the answer is yes, you can. I wanted to do this because it, it brought up an old memory. BIC turntables. Do you remember BIC? Remember the BIC Venturi? Um, so BIC was a company, it was a British company originally. I think BIC stood for British, what was it? Um, British, I had it written down, British Industries Corporation. Well, that's a sexy name, ain't it? The British Industries Corporation. And they originally uh, were distributors of Garrard turntables and Ortofon and stuff. And when they opened up their American office, they turned it into the BIC Corporation. And eventually they wound up selling their own turntable. And in fact, they were the ones in 1971 that introduced the world's first belt drive turntable. There's a little piece of trivia for you. Um, in any case, um, Matt in Plymouth, uh, Michigan says, I'm not sure you can answer this one. Darling, I can answer it, um, <laughs> but I'll ask it anyway. Is it possible to convert a turntable from a moving magnet cartridge to a moving coil? I have an old BIC without an amp on it, which requires a preamp to a new receiver system. Plus, I'm still learning about preamps. So yeah, of course you can. You can, the, the cartridge is mounted into the hell, the, the hell, the hell it is, <laughs> the shell. <laughs> He's getting goofy at home, you know, he don't walk outside much. Um, so there's usually two screws that you can just look at the bottom of your head shell and remove those. There's four little uh, wires that are usually on with spring clips or with just kind of little uh, brass tube sleeves and you pop those off. Just pay attention to where they are. Now most cartridges have a color coding scheme, you know, red, green, black, white, if I remember, and just make sure that you know the the colors of the wires match up to the colors in the cartridge and what i like to do is just 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 take your phone and go into the back of the thing and and take a picture of it so you remember how that sucker is hooked up because it's important so then remove it hook up a new one to go out and buy a moving coil cartridge if you want i'm not sure i would do that because that big turntable while it's it's cool you can sure do a lot better these days. I mean, even for not that much money, you can you can really do a lot better. It's it's a vintage classic. But if you want to, yes, you can do that. Now, the downside for you, and this is one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up, you need what's called a head amp. So a head amp or a step-up transformer takes the lower output of a moving coil, which is about 30 dB, or 30 times lower in output than a moving magnet cartridge. And you need to boost that up to the level of the moving magnet cartridge right out of the turntable. And then that goes into your receiver or your preamp in order to into the moving magnet section. Okay, so yeah, you can do it. I just, I couldn't resist. BIC, I hadn't heard the term BIC in a long, long time and it brought back some good memories. All right, thanks. I'll talk to you in a day or two. Take it easy. Bye.